In this lesson, we're going to talk about risk analysis. Now, risk analysis, the goal of it is to determine the risks and vulnerabilities and then to be able to adequately plan the controls that are going to be needed to lessen or mitigate those risks. Now, the auditing process, we need to understand the relationships between risks and controls because that's really what the purpose of the controls are, is to somehow reduce the amount of risk that we have to uh, be able to manage or to, or to worry about. That means as an auditor, we have to know what are the common business risks and the related technology risks as they are related to the audit process. Now some of the key points that the auditor should have knowledge about are things like the purpose and nature of the business and the environment that it operates in. I think that's key. We need to know what this business does. I, I mentioned this before that you know we might focus on the IT, the IS, uh, but you know what? Uh, it's more than information systems. This company does something. As an example, I remember, um, and it wasn't a part of an audit, but just some other work I did with a chip manufacturing plant, and uh, and they build uh, you know chips, you know uh, processors and memory and those sorts of things. And, and I remember as as I was looking at their business and the nature of their business, they instilled into me how their goal and purpose of that business was to make chips. If they didn't make chips, they had nothing to sell, and if they had nothing to sell, they were not in business. And the IT department w was nice. It was helpful when they wanted to communicate through email, when they wanted to talk on the phones with voice over IP, when they had their databases and their mainframe. I mean, very nice that we provided you know, the connectivity and the availability, but they ingrained, they made sure we knew that the purpose of that business was to make chips to the point that all people, lawyers, vice presidents, um, IT, IS personnel, uh, programmers, all got into the what we call the white bunny suits, uh, the, the white suits you put on to, to, in the clean room. And we learned at least one part of the line, uh, you know, the wet process, dry process, whatever the process was, they made sure we knew how to make chips. Because if it got to that point that they needed, you know, uh, you know, to, to start cutting expenses and and to uh, you know keep the business alive, they knew that they didn't care about their email as much as they cared about making their chips, and that makes sense to me because without that they had no money. So what am I getting at? I'm saying the purpose and nature of the business and the environment that it operates in is something you need to have knowledge about. If you don't understand that business and how it works and what their guiding philosophies are and how they operate, then you're not going to have a very successful time even to begin how to plan uh, the audit, let alone understanding what risks that company faces. Now, part of that analysis is to know how much dependence does the business have on technology. Now, that is becoming something that is more and more prevalent. Um, in today's world, right, as, as far as how much uh, technology is involved in all facets of the business. Of course, today we have it from our cell phones, which are, you know, now mini computers, you know, as we're uh, looking at these droids and iPhones and uh, these net pads. And uh, I mean, you know, it just continues on. And, uh, and we're seeing that very pervasive in all parts of the technology. It was the mid 90s, I remember. Uh, going to a company um, on the West Coast that um, uh, did a lot of inventory work. They produced um, boxes, I'll just say that. And, uh, and they didn't have any semblance of a network. They were still making orders and keeping track of inventory by uh, you know uh, pads of paper on a clipboard and uh, trying to go to a manual balance sheet. And, and this was like 95, 96. And, uh, and if I look at that company today, and I have, it's a completely different company. Anything that they used to do by paper is now all automated. Everything's 100% automated. And, uh, and, you know, when I think about that, that short span, I guess, you know, over 10 years, but um, uh, that's a long time in computer worlds. It just shows me, though, how that dependence is really getting more and more. So, you know, a lot of work here trying to explain why risk analysis is important and why you need to do the research. You need to know how much dependence this business has on the technology and what other risks are associated with IT and any of the related dependencies and how would that uh, risk uh, impact 
the goal of the business.